Hello YouTube, and welcome back to Brewing with Magic. Well, today we have got an Is It Tempo combo deck for you. Why did we decide to play this deck? Well, we're looking for decks that are super fun, but still competitive on the ladder, and I think that this fits that description perfectly. So, the purpose of this deck is to close out games by turn 6 at the latest. You're hoping to win on turn 4 or 5, actually. And how are we going to do that? Well, let me show you. We have the creatures that we're going to be supporting with other cards in the deck in our first row. So we have four copies of Riddle Form, kind of a creature, kind of not, but it does get around board wipes. It gets around um, non-instant speed removal cards, things like that. It just sits there. If late game you need to, you can scry with it. Really good card. Four copies of Sprite Dragon, one of the main creatures in the deck. It'll just help close out games super fast with the way this deck is designed. Three Phoenix of Ashes, once again, it's just a way to annoy certain decks, especially like Rogues, it's hasty, it's in the air, it can pump itself late game and just put mana into it, as well as we can pump it with what I'll be showing you later, our, our combo pieces over here. And then we have Stormwing Entity, which just comes out super cheap because you're always going to be throwing this for one blue and one colorless. You're never going to pay two blue, three colorless. You get to scry two when it comes into play, super strong, flying, and then the prowess actually becomes super important late game kind of for the same reason sprite dragon is super important late game and i'll explain why in just a moment then we have our support row so we do have three more creatures and brazen borrower if need be but you know we're mainly have this in the deck for the bounce effect because this is also tempo first we're a tempo deck just trying to keep building what we're going for towards and then disrupting our opponent enough to where we can just otk them all at once so we do that with the Brazen Borrower, double duty with the creature. We've got four copies of Shock, not just to, so we can hit their face. Uh, and, you know, we could have gone with um, Frostbite or something like that, but that doesn't hit people. It only hits creatures, and we need to be able to hit the opponent in case they're playing control decks. We need to be able to shock them, power up the Riddle Form, or shock them just to get a counter on the Sprite Dragon, things like that. Two copies of Unsummon, really good once again for tempo, but not only is it good for tempo to bounce something they threw on turn three if they spent all their mana, they have you have one blue left over before your turn, you unsummon their creature, you basically time walked them, they did nothing their whole turn, but you can also hold up one blue and protect one of your creatures in the deck because this, unlike Brazen Borrower, can also grab your own creature. And then two copies of Opt just to, you know, early game, make sure you hit those cards that you're looking for, find a, a combo piece, or just to activate good old Riddle Form, Put a plus one, plus one counter here or prowess here. So there's a lot of stuff going on with the deck. Then we have the combo section. So what are we doing here? What we're doing is we're trying to play creatures as fast and often as we can while keeping the board controlled to a point to where we're not going to die, but we really don't care about anything on the ground if we're not going to die or it's not disturbing us. We're trying to get dual strikes into Fortel, as many of them as we have. One is fine, two is better, and then we want to go off in one turn. Hopefully the best combo that I came up with the deck, in my opinion, is you, you infuriate one of your creatures, and then you go ahead, whichever one is best at the moment, maybe it's the Stormwing Sprite Dragon, you know, whatever you need to close out the game, then you pop the dual strike, which is hopefully in Fortel, so let's go with, uh, so you have a base base, uh, one attack dragon, we won't worry about defense, one attack, you cast the infiltrate, it gets another attack counter, so that's two, plus the three here, three, four, five, now you dual strike, now that gets another token, it's at six for the turn, then you throw the Unleashed Fury. Now it gets another token. That's seven for the turn. Unleashed Fury triggers once. It goes to 14 damage. And then the dual strike gets to Unleash Fury again. It's not casting a spell, so you don't get another counter. But that 14 damage goes to 28 damage. You just closed out the game on turn four with four mana if you had it uh, correctly laid out. If you had one, two, three mana that were red and one blue source, and you had a creature that could do that, you just killed your opponent on turn four for a huge amount of damage with one creature super fun super fast tempo combo deck it's a, you got to close out games fast if you hit turn seven 99 percent chance you've lost the game you could just concede that game go on to the next one and just keep grinding out those games try to climb up the ladder as fast as possible so that's what we're doing with it let me know down in the comments if you like this deck how it worked out for you or anything else you'd like to tell us subscribe to the channel super fast completely free Boom, you just did it like that. If you don't mind, it really helps us out. And we're going to give away 3,400 gems for free to one of our subscribers at random when we hit that 100 subscriber landmark. So we're at 96, I believe, as of recording this. And when we hit 100, we will be choosing someone at random. You won't have to hear me keep reminding you anymore. And someone gets to go ahead and win 3,400 gems for free. And then we have a surprise when we hit 100 subscribers for the rest of you that we're not telling you yet, but it is going to be fun and it will involve the entire community. So that being said, without any further ado, let's get into today's gameplay. Tribar, hello. 
Okay, we go first with three lands. One's a temple, two islands, Sprite Dragon, Stormwing, Infiltrate, and uh, Infuriate, and Shock. Let's keep that. Let's lead on here on this temple. There are Yorion deck. Can we go fast enough? Okay, we'll leave with that temple. And then we're probably going to go... Uh, I mean, we have to go with the Sprite Dragon. Do we want the Dual Strike? I think we do, unfortunately. We don't want to ship that. We'll keep this. The Stormwind Entity is so far away. I wish this was a... Uh, what you call it? The uh, I'll get there. I'll get there. The riddle form. I wish that was a riddle form. Okay, so we draw our land. Let's go ahead and get the sprite dragon out. And swing with it for one. Our opponent probably just going to murder its face. We'll see. We know they're on blue and black because of the pathway. There's the green. So they don't have... Maze Mine is the draw. Okay. Okay. So we'll throw this out on blue. We have to put this in a foretell. Uh, maybe I should have uh, shocked, actually. They're not going to have any little creatures, so let's shock their face. Yeah. Just to get tokens on here. And then we'll swing in. If we top deck a red, we're getting really close to being able to win right now. Between Dual Strike and Infuriate, we just need another red source. As soon as we do this, this becomes a 3, and then 4, 5, 6, doubles to 12. Another Maze Mine for our opponent. Who? there's the red source. So this and this both give this token, so this Dual Strike makes this a 3-3. Three, three. Then I cast this, it's a 4-4, four, four, 5, 6, seven. it's not enough to, to, for us to actually be able to win the game yet. But I really, really, really want to get this on the board. So I think I have to make an ex... Oof. If they put something in front of us, we're going to wish that this didn't happen. They don't have... I don't know. We're going to Brazen Borrower. Mm, the Waves Wine with nothing on it. Completely helps them out. In a way. In a sense. It doesn't completely help them out, but in a way it does. Okay. Now, if they have... Um, they have extinction event. I think they can only. Get, I think this is naturally a five, so they can only get one. Let's go ahead and throw this. Yeah, it's naturally a five and a two, so extinction event isn't going to kill us. Scry two. Uh, hopefully, we win with one of those. Do we need this other land red? No, we don't need another red right now to do what we've got to do. Let's just ship both of those, and then swing in. And then we can, depending on what they do, we can win next turn. Once again, depending. <laughs> We're hoping we really threw them off with the scry. Maybe they're having to throw this again. Um, if they do have Extinction Event, they might throw it here. If they have a single removal, they might use it on the Sprite Dragon right here. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing at the moment. If they're missing a land drop, they're going to have to use that Maze Mind Tome, and then we're, we're in the clear. Cultivate. Ah! I think that's game. They literally have to have Blood Chief Thirst in their hand. Oh, they didn't throw the... Okay, so... Nope. Do you think they have an unsummon? Let's, uh... Let's see if they can do anything. That triggers immediately. Boom. Trigger one. Trigger two. Good game, opponent. Woo! <sighs> Gotta close it out quick. Oh, hello, Black Dragon. We have almost forgot to hit record. Opponent goes first. We'll keep this. We have three lands, right, Dragon. Brazen Borrow, Infiltrate, and a Shock. We'll throw the land, the Temple, the Scry. We got a second Sprite Dragon. They're gonna crack their favorite Passage in response. Storming Entity. We have two Sprite Dragons, and we need to find a combo to close this out. We have somewhat of a, you know, our tempo here. Okay, they go with a discard card. I guess it's going to be one of the... One of the Sprites? I, 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 I don't know. Throw this. We'll throw the Sprite. Hopefully we don't lose the Sprite. Tag for one. They're going to keep ripping our hand apart. They foretell a card. Hit us for one. Pass the turn. We get a shock. 
So is there any reason to have another red up this turn now? Throw the blue. Next. I'll attack. One attacker. We just pass the turn. So they've got their Triome out. We know they're Mardu now. Black, red, white. They're going to pass the turn. They're just going to swing at us. Okay. And they're passing the turn. We're going to throw the Brazen Borrower. We're going to get We're going to get weird. <laughs> okay, we'll throw this out on red because we need more red. And I think I can throw this out. Maybe that was dumb. If they board why 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 I don't know why I did that. If they board wipe now. If this is uh this is a board wipe. I walked into that. Elder Fang, discipline. Okay, that'll resolve. Unfortunately, we're going to have to lose a, sh a shock because we don't want to lose other stuff. We're about to dump our hand. Doom Scar. It's been a tough day. It's been a tough day, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't played a single opponent yet today who hasn't had exactly what they've needed against us all day long. That resolves. Let's get rid of a shot. Would you please resolve? Get rid of that. Let's see. What's the draw? Hmm. We get a Phoenix of Ash. They're going to just dump these two creatures. We're going to lose all the cards in our hand. There's the first one. Resolves. Yep. Submit one. Ah. Do the other one. Okay. Yep. Can we win on the Phoenix? It's a race. We are off to the races. This has been a weird one. It's an unsummon. Let's go ahead and all attack. One attack. Let's activate ability. Swinging for four. Pass the turn. Exile target artifact or creature or enchantment. We cannot have that. We will unsummon the phoenix to our hands. Can't have that. That's That would just blow us out. They swing for three. One, two, three. What do we get? We get a dual strike. That's not really helping us at the moment. We'll go ahead and three swing in for two. And let's see if they can best us again. Only two cards left in their hand. What are the odds? I mean, I think we can... We just take that out of Fortel. Yeah, we're okay still. It's a riddle form. Let's throw the Phoenix. Let's get rid of those. Let's see if they top deck again. <laughs> One, two, three... Blood on the snow. It's okay. They get that back out. We'll ditch the riddle form. And that's game. We'll throw out the phoenix. One, two, three. Submit three. Woo! Man, that was, that was a mess. Good game, Black Dragon. We were a mess. Started the recording late. Micus. Hello. Okay, opponent goes first. We have three lands, an unsummoned riddle form, Sprite Dragon, Unleash Fury. We'll keep it. Okay, our, our opponent throws a Triome and passes. We get a land. It's another red. We don't want a third mountain. We have two in our hands. We're going to pass that. We're not that kind of deck. <laughs> they throw a Triome and pass. We get another land. I've got to wait on the Epiphany because we got to get this riddle form out. We'll throw the Epiphany next turn. We can... Maybe. Maybe we won't throw the temple. Maybe we need to protect the Sprite Dragon from... Do they have Stomp and... Nah, nah, nah. But they might have Heartless and we could protect it with that. So. So, yeah. I think I'm going to throw... I don't have a way to protect it, though, because nothing I throw is another red. So, yeah. There's no point in that. So, we'll throw that. We'll scry one. It's a shock. I think we keep that. The Sprite Dragon. We swing in for one. 
they want to kill it, they can't. It's a spike dragon. Eliminate. Oh, didn't even get a chance. They throw a forest. And it's a binding coming down on the riddle form. Okay, we'll play the land. We will shock our opponent in the face to throw a Stormwing Entity. And it's a, another shock and a temple. I'm going to ship them both. I want to find some combo pieces real quick here. In the turn. We have opt. That's good. Hopefully they don't have another removal. They have been hot on removal so far, but it is a control deck. Free jaws. Rajavushan. So, that happens. We're going to opt on our turn to draw a card. Nah, that's not smart. Keep everything for their turn. Uh, there's the unsummon. This bounces anything, so we'll lead off with an unsummon on the 4-4. And let's, uh, I think I still opt to land, ship it, pass it, give it to me. Dual strike with an Unleashed Fury. Let's go ahead and swing this in. Put this, oh, 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 put this in a foretell. And all we can hope is that we see a Stormwing Entity next turn. It's the best we can do. We see the Stormwing Entity after we untap. We're in good place. Archon of Sun's Grace is not great, but we're not we're not dead from it. Okay. 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 So we get another one of these. So I can bounce both of these. Is that the play? If I bounce the one, okay. I think I, I think I have to. Man, this is a horrible play, huh? I think I have to bounce this. Swing with this. Yep, they take the, they block it. I'll throw another Stormwing entity. Hope they don't have a board wipe. It's an Unleashed Fury. We'll ship the land, grab the Unleashed Fury. And if they don't put two flyers in the air, <laughs> again, as in Archon into another freaking <laughs> enchantment, which their hand is getting thin, then we might be good. If they have a board wipe here, that's bad. They could. They could be running board wipes behind their creatures. Uh, we need them to Archon, and we need them to not throw anything else. Yes! Okay. I think that seals it up. So, we'll swing in with both. Got him. Didn't see that coming, did they? <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once again, that is going to do it for today's deck. Is it Tempo Combo? Was a blast. The current meta is the same decks over and over again. If you notice, you're going to be playing Mono Red. You're going to be playing Rogues. You're going to be playing Yorion decks. And it can be really tough to win those decks with this deck right away because of the kind of deck that this is. But any Rush deck or Combo deck or Tempo deck does take some amount of knowing the deck and knowing your outs and knowing how to play it. So if at the beginning you're not doing super well with it, just keep plugging in there for a minute, maybe make some changes, and, and the deck should work out for you. This is a super strong deck when you play it correctly. Maybe it needs a couple of counter spells to just help protect it, but I go all in. I like playing it for this kind of deck. I just want to be super rushy. But there are a few changes I would make, nothing major at all. Now, the deck is uh, 20... It has 20 blue sources, so 53% blue. It has 22 red, so 58% red. And our land is skewed a little bit differently than it should be, in my opinion. Now, there are a lot of turns with this deck. Yes, there's double blue here. There's double blue here. You're never using the double blue on this one. You kind of need double blue to get the Brazen Borrower. So you might want this to be more 50-50, you'd think. But you actually don't. You want more red in the deck. That's because there's a lot of turns, like I told you, how the combo, you need red, red, red. So you want to have more red in the deck, but I still feel like it was light on blue. So I'm going to take out one mountain, and I'm going to add one more 
Island in. And then the other thing is there's too many games where I drew this third Phoenix or I had multiple Phoenixes. You just don't need it. It's a great card in the deck, but it's not 100% where you want to be with that one. And you want to find other cards for your combo. So I am going to, as you guessed from seeing that, add in a third opt. And this is how I think you should probably take it out if you're going to play on the ladder the next time you go out. Maybe don't start with the shell that I started with. Start with this shell. But let me know in the comments down below how you decided to run it, how the deck went for you. Like the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Completely free. It means a whole lot to us over here. It also enters you into the 3400 gem giveaway, which we'll be giving away for free when we hit 100 subscribers to one of our our subscribers at random and we won't have to talk about it anymore we're only four away share the video please let people know we have another surprise coming out for the rest of the community which you'll hear about when we hit 100 subscribers so let's uh let's make this happen thank you all very much for watching and being part of the channel so far it means a lot to us and as always until next time have a blast in the arena